Glow, I will talk about the murder of Tair Rada. The murder of Tair Rada, a 13 year old Israeli school girl, was committed in 2006 in the girls' bathroom of her school in Katrin. Roman Zadorov, an Ukrainian and the resident of Israel, was convicted of the murder and was sentenced uh, to life imprisonment on September 14, 2010. On August uh, 26, 2021, Zadorov was released from prison to house arrest after many appeals. On March uh, 30, 2023, Roman was released uh, as not guilty for the crime. I will talk now about the murder and the initial investigation. In December 6, uh, 2006, 13-year-old Tahir Rada of Katsrin reportedly decided to skip the last period of that school day. She stayed outside in the schoolyard with friends for a while before going uh, back into the building to get a drink of water. She was last seen by several students going up a staircase leading to a mid-floor of 10th grade uh, classes. Later that afternoon, when she failed to return home, her mother contacted the police and the search uh, began. That evening, around 7 p.m., she was found murdered in a locked stall in the girl's bathroom, a fourth slit uh, twice, and multiple additional cuts to her face, torso, and hands. According to news reports from the evening, of the murder, the police's initial estimate was that uh, classmates uh, were involved. This theory was uh, dismissed uh, soon thereafter. Uh, on the night of the murder, police detained a homeless person as a suspect uh, Three days later, police detained the school gardener as well. Both were released two days later due to the fact they weren't at or near the school on that day and the dear alibis uh, were confirmed. On December 11th, uh, Police detained and inter interrogated uh, Zadorov. On December 19th, uh, two weeks after the murder, police announced uh, in a press conference during uh, prime, te uh, prime time television on the 8 p.m. evening news that uh, Roman Zadorov a maintenance man is held as the most likely suspect and uh, that he had admitted and reenacted the murder. A day later, his attorney informed that he had recanted his confession. That motive for the murder, as initially stated by the police, uh, the motive for the murder, as initially stated by the police, was insult held at the door of after he denied Tahir's request for a cigarette. Both her family and friends, however, stated that not only did she not smoke, but she couldn't even stand the smell of cigarettes. They also stated that rude behavior and cursing were very uncharacteristic of her. That motive was dropped. Police later claimed 
that the motive was sexual abuse Sodomov suffered by female classmates when he was an eight year old in Ukraine, which uh, caused a rage fit uh, after he suffered continuous pestering by the school's uh, students during his walk, but that could not be confirmed. No alternative uh, motive for the murder was presented by police in the indictment. I will talk now about the indictment and trial. I will start with the DNA. Initially, the Israel police leaked to the press that DNA samples from the crime scene were matched with Sadorovs. DNA and other mounting evidence were cited by the judge when remanding Zadorov in custody. Later, the indictment was filed with no DNA evidence. The state prosecution explained the filing of the indictment with no DNA evidence or laboratory tests results as follows. The fact that the prosecution filed an indictment based on substantial evidence that exists implicating the door without waiting for the US lab results show there is sufficient evidence tying him to the murder and the case isn't based only on, uh, on that issue. The DNA test results were inconclusive. I will talk now about the shoe imprints. A shoe print police expert by the name Yaron Shaw claimed to have found additional bloody footprints on Tahir Randa's jeans that match uh, that matched uh, Zadorov's uh, salamander uh, shoes. British shoe imprint expert Dr. Guy Cooper testified in 2009 that the stains could not be considered Zadorov's shoe imprints if shoe imprint if shoe imprints at all. His testimony was dismissed by the court. FBI veteran, shoe imprint expert Filiam Bodziak also claimed in his 2013 testimony that these stains could not be determined to be the door of shoe imprints if shoe imprints at all. His testimony was also dismissed by the court. I will talk now about the air. Air discovered at the murder scene didn't match the door of. Three pieces of air found on Rada's body belonged to three different unknown people. Not all the air found in the crime scene were tested for DNA since the police told the lab to stop all tests once Zadorov confessed. I will talk now about the students in Tahir's high school. Media reports in the early days after the murder criticized the Israel police for searching for the murderer through the vast areas of the Golan Heights and the Galil instead of focusing on suspects within the school building itself. One of the students later testified in court that she saw under the bathroom stall where the murder was committed, Tahir's Puma shoes, shoes, uh, shoes youth size uh, all-star shoes and blood. A long list of students were, went through the bathroom around the time of the murder while uh, 
Tair apparently struggled with the murderers and some of them even noticed highly suspicious uh, circumstances. Tair's uh, mother stated on various occasions that she didn't believe that the Doro was the murderer and that she believed that the true murderers were from Tahir's world. She alluded that the murderers were high school students whom she believed to be members of a satanic cult. In May 2016, an attorney representing two of the female students, Nofar Ben David and Lee Layani, issued a, late, a letter to leaders of Roman Zadorov's support, group, uh, support groups, a warning prior to filing a lawsuit letter demanding an apology, adequate monetary compensation and the promise to cease defamatory publication. In response, recipients of the demands and threat published on June 4, 2016, a statement rejecting the demands later that year slander lawsuit were filed. I will talk now about the judicial process. Trial commenced in January 2007 with the filing of the indictment in the Nazareth District Court, followed by the September 2010 initial conviction, October 2010 filing of Sadorov's appeal in the Supreme Court of Israel, March 2013 remand to the Nazareth District Court for additional review of the evidence and February 2014 supplemental judgment by the Nazareth District Court again convicting Zadorov. On December 23, 2015, the Israeli Supreme Court denied Zadorov's appeal by, two to one, by a two-to-one decision of a panel of three justices. Zadorov's team immediately asked for new hearing by an expanded panel. No, sign confe no signed conf uh, confession was filed with the indictment. Zadorov having recanted both of his confessions and refused to sign his second one. However, police officer testified that he confessed the, in the investigation that he had committed the murder. No motive for the murder was provided in the indictment. The, uh, the, 400, uh, the 456 page September 2010 conviction by a free judge panel headed by Judge Itzhak Cohen, then presiding judge of the Nazareth District Court, was read out in a dramatic uh, open court hearing. It stated that there was no doubt that Zadorov was the murderer and that his testimony was full of lies and manipulations. Therefore, Zadorov was further convicted on obstruction of a police investigation. The lack of any motive for the murder was found no object by the judges. In March 2013, the Supreme Court of Israel remanded the case back to the Nazareth District Court for re-hearing of evidence by expert uh, witnesses as requested by Zadorov's lawyers. William Bodziak, a world-renowned forensics uh, expert regarding the footprint, the footprint found on the clothes of uh, the murdered girl, and Dr. Maya Foreman Resnick, a pathologist regarding the murder weapon and the trauma injuries found on her head. Key evidence relating to the murder knife and true imprints, key issues in this case were not settled. 
in February 2014, uh, the Nazareth discreet uh, court returned a supplemental judgment again convicting Zadorov. The Nazareth district court rejected the testimony of the defense expert about the kind of knife used in the murder and called the assertion that it was not possible to identify the bloody shoe print embarrassing and fundamentally flawed. The December 23, 2015 denial of the appeal by the Supreme Court of Israel was rendered by a two to one split panel. On May 11, 2021, the Supreme Court ordered a retrial for Roman Zadorov in his final uh, ruling as a Supreme Court Justice. Hanal Meltzer said that uh, based on the evidence presented by his attorneys, there was sufficient reasonable doubt to exonerate Zadorov. On March 13, 2023, Roman Zadorov was exonerated for the crime. Thank you very much.